Hello everyone, my name is Neely and I am the Director of Marketing and Education Partnerships for Volunteer Crowd. Today in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use Canva templates for upload on social media. So once you receive the email with the template in it, you're going to simply access that email. So I'm going to open up my email, find the email with the toolkit, and click grab the toolkit. As you can see, a new window has popped up that has the Google Drive document in it. So the toolkit here gives you all the information that you need about putting information on Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, your preferred platform, how you should develop your content, example templates, um, example posts, hashtag examples, everything again that you need to post on social media. So from here on page three, I have a set of templates for you for Instagram and Facebook. And on page four, there is a set of templates for Twitter and LinkedIn. Now in this example, I'm going to use the Instagram and Facebook templates. Now there are two sets of templates for different sizes because I'm sure that you're aware that on various platforms, if you insert a graphic, then you have to use a certain size of image. So that's what I have done for you here is created those various size of templates. So again, I'm going to access the Instagram and Facebook icon, uh, templates by clicking on the icons here. Now a new window should pop up with those templates located in it. Now, as you can see, there is several to choose from. We did that because we know that there are different templates that people are going to like and want to use. So in this example, I'm just going to use page one. Now you are going to need to upload your image. So on the left hand side, click upload, upload media and choose the right form that you're going to need to pick from your picture. So click device. I'm going to click the Shutterstock image that we have already purchased and upload it to Canva. Now, as you can see that it is still loading here with this bar and there's also this bubble here that shows that it was filling up as it was, it was loading. So once your image is uploaded, you're simply going to click the image and drag it into the image box. Now you can double click on the image and drag and adjust as needed. In this case, I'm going to adjust a little bit and click done. Now there is this box here that was simply put there. So it was a reminder to you that you needed to change out the photo and delete the text box once you have your photo in place. Now as student leaders are going into the templates and adding their own, I'm sure this, this, this text box is going to disappear and that is fine. But again, just know that you need to use your own image when you are making your template. So I'm going to simply click on it, the text box and delete it using my keyboard delete button. And from here, um, at the bottom, every template should have a text box that you can insert the name of your volunteer project as well as your organization social handle. So you will need to change that accordingly to fit your specific case. And then once that is done and you have your template how you would like it, you are going to go to the top of Canva and you will see this download button. Click download. Now I usually always use their file type suggested or suggestion and here they have suggested PNG. So I'm going to leave that as is. And on this particular case, I have used the page one template. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you use the page that you have selected. Now you can go ahead and use all templates and plug all the information in for all of the templates if you would like. That is perfectly fine, um, but you don't have to. So. Again, I'm gonna use page one, so I'm going to select just page one to download since I did not go in and edit all of the templates. So page one is selected, I'm going to click done, and then I'm going to click download. So as you can see, it's preparing my design, and it's saved. 
Now, in my case on my Mac, it automatically pops up with the downloaded image, but obviously for downloading or for uploading, I should say on social media, what you're going to do is you're going to access the file that it's in. So it's going to be in my downloads and I'm going to access the image. So all you'll need to do from there is just go into your Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn, whichever one that you did and insert your image. Okay. Well, I think that about covers it. So that is it for today. Of course, I thank you for watching this video and we encourage you to go ahead and get on out there and start sharing your impact on social media.